حقیقت حسنات ان پوٹیٹ ان میزان الحسنات واللہ سبحانہ و تعالی دا بریو فیملی گیو دیم صبر ان اجر بوت and all those brothers who attended the Salati Janazah are sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them a big reward. In a hadith, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that anyone who came for the Janazah of his Muslim brother and sister, and after that the Janazah was done, he will go back with a reward equal to a qirat. And the one who attended the burial process as well, he will be taking two kirats with. Now kirat is a small weight used by the, uh, the jewelers. So Sahaba Rizwanullah alayhi majma'een, they asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mal kiratu ya Rasulullah? Like, what is kirat? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, elder. Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu directed a hadith and hadith is quoted by Imam Behaqi in Shu'ab al-Iman. He attributed it to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That summit to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Yakul. Iza mata ahadukum fala tahbisuhu wasra'u ila dafnit waqra'u bi fawatih al-baqara inda ra'asihi wa bi khawatiniha inda izlihi aw kama kala alayhi salatu wa salam. That Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that when somebody passes away, so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that just every activity and every other business, try to take him to his burial place as soon as possible. Imam Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi, he has written a chapter, Babu Majafi Kalam al-Mayyati ala sarir, that when the dead is lying on his stretcher, so he is speaking, that is called Zubani Hal al-Nisan al-Hal, not Nisan al-Khal. So that is in the son of Hal, Babu Maja'a fi kalam al-mayyati ala sarir, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, in the time of death, so if he has seen his nice and good and delicious place, so he says, Isra'u bi, Isra'u bi, hurry up, hurry up, take me to my beautiful place and new house as soon as possible. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if the case is the other way around, so then he is crying, Aina tazhabuna bi, Aina tazhabuna bi, where you are throwing me in a trench of fire, don't take me there. So my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, that is point number two. And point number three is, that when we are coming for janazah, or for burial, should we follow the dead body or should we go ahead of the dead body? So the dead body is there, so you have to follow it, that is the Masa Muhammad. Rahmatullahi alayhi and Imam Shafi Rahmatullahi alayhi said that all the people they should go and walk ahead of the dead body and dead body in the back and both of them Rahimahum Allah they have their own reason Imam Shafi Rahmatullahi alayhi says we the alive when we are a delegate to Allah now we are going to request for him the maghfira and as you know that the elites they are going in front of the mujrim and the criminal to request to the authorities that peace for him that is the reason given by whom what a beautiful verse he said that ya sahibi don't deceive yourself that you are living a delicious life in a very prosperous life ya sahibi la taghtarir bitana woman because Umar is going to vanish. The life is going to vanish. And these Nahi will stay here in a hadith. Ibn Abbas narrates by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At the time of death, everyone, every individual, he has three friends. Number one, Maluhu. As well, whatever he has earned here. And number two, Wa'ayaluhu, his family. And number three, Wa'ahmaluhu, and his actions good or bad. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the moment the guy, the ruh came out of his nose and we said inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajihun so the wealth we are using every nook and crook to grab it as much as we can Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says right at the time of that coming of ruh from his nose he disconnected himself now he is not going to spend a single penny yes he is on our disposal that where we are going to bury him we are paying for his bury at five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars doesn't matter we are paying for his kafan or for his shrouding fabric. One hundred dollar or two hundred dollar. That's on our disposal. He has nothing to do with. But even before that, when he was on his deathbed, so when somebody is on his deathbed, which is called Marazu, 
الموت in sharia so in maraz al maut if a person is making a will so his will is legitimate to the extent of one third only he cannot take a plea that no this whole property belong to me i want to make a will of the whole property to a masjid or to a madrasa or to a hospital or to an orphanage or thing like that if he did it even sharia does not allow it because other people the inheritors they are there they have their own to share you cannot overturn the rules of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through your own will and you are on deathbed when you are okay you are doing that now when you are on deathbed and you are going towards allah so now you are making well so don't be that but generous at that time so sharia said that that will be legitimate only to the extent of third of one third as rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that's the second friend which is the ahlu hayal now all of us alhamdulillah we came neither usama nor nabi or their family will stay here for one single night neither that is recommended nor that is sharia nor that is in accordance with sufan qalabu hal wajadu ma faqadu whatever they have lost they found it back they got it back no they never they got a support area so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that the ahlu ayal they believe you right after your burial 